Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that video of yourselves. And for those that are, thank you, that are not on the call today, uh, obviously Deborah is here with us today, one of the new three star directors. And you, seriously, I'm so, so pleased that you're on this call. I've got nothing but respect and love for you. So, so pleased that you're here with us today. And obviously that you get to obviously see the faces of the UK team as well, which is really important because it's lovely for us all to connect and, and see one another's faces. So what I'd like to do, Deborah, is I'd like to just throw the floor over to you straight away and you just explain how this company makes you feel and why and where you're going with it. All right. Well, first of all, I want to thank uh, Samantha Gallinger for this opportunity to share with you. I wasn't really sure what she wanted me to do. I just thought she wanted me to hang out with her. So um, if you have any questions for me, but I can just tell you a little bit about my journey and how I got here. Um, I know a lot of you probably have heard my story on Paid to Save um, many, many times. But for those of you who haven't, I came in this business. I had been in travel um, a few years. I started um, as a travel agent with AMLM. And um, then those companies be, kind of became a wash. And so, um, and traveling through this process, I found myself landed and paid to save. And it was the best thing actually that ever happened for me. You know, there's a song, that old song used to say, it's the best thing that ever happened to me, right? The Gladys Knight used to say. And so it just really has become the best thing. I and mean, I'm saying that in all honesty. And what I said on the call the other day is that I was looking for a company that had integrity, that cared about people, that cared about family, they really cared about your financial security of the person who may not necessarily been able that may able may, may not necessarily be able to produce the big numbers, but still be able to make some money. And so when I found this company, my goal was only to get to fifteen hundred dollars a month. Um, at the time, my husband was very, 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 had become very ill right when I came into the company. Um, he went into kidney failure, congestive heart failure, and a bunch of other stuff. And I built this company from what I call intensive care, the IC, ICU room. And um, I mean, I, I, I burned up a couple of these phones to, to the point I had Androids. At that time, my, my son made me but get um iPhones because I was burning them up, just texting and um, sharing with people, and uh, it began to grow. And I, I went two star pretty quick, um, but I actually went to maybe two or three star. At that time, we had two star presentations, and I went to about three of them before I ever even accepted my ring. <laughs> so, um, because I wanted my husband to be there. And, and most of the time he was too ill for when, when I went for the go with me. Um, and so I got my ring and then I was like, oh my God, this three-star thing is like, uh, I mean, it's, it was a run. I mean, David, me and David was talking about it yesterday. You know, he said, you know, that's probably the, the hardest rank to get to. Me and Sam talks about it a lot. But to be able, I really just wanted to, um, I had lost my job. I actually worked for President Obama. I worked with his cabinet 
um, as a consultant uh, at that time. I also worked for the government for almost 40 years, me and my husband. Um, but the, the who I work for, we, they didn't really give us any pension or any, any pension. They gave you like a mass amount, but I wasn't old enough to get that at that time. And so I found myself unemployed and, and really, for me, broke. My husband said I wasn't broke, but to me, a woman who made six figures and went from, right, and then all I had was the travel business. And then it went, it bottomed up. It bottomed up. And so um, I found myself, so I got it paid to save and I just made the run. I just followed the instructions and made the run. And I just shared it with any and everybody that would hear. At that time, we had a different product. We had a 1295 product. Now we have a free product, uh, the hotel site. Um, and so I just began to share and I became a professional sharer, you know, not a convincer, just a sharer. This is my story. This is what I believe the prices was phenomenal. I mean, just, you could not find any cheaper prices at that time. We didn't have any, um, we didn't have the, uh, double, we didn't have, y'all came in at a good time. Those are you and new. We didn't have the dreamcations. And then I remember when we got the dream cases, we only had to wait a year. Then we had to wait six months. Then they was they then they when he said they were gonna double, we was like, oh my God. Then we went through the process of they're looking like, yeah, yeah. And then we went, um, so we went through that process. Then I came over with a bunch of people who were travel agents, and David um decided that he would get a travel agent program. And long story short, the first one bottom up. So then we had to start all over. And now we, we're part of that um, in the U.S. We're part of, of a travel agent program, which was great because I had a lot of people at that time who wanted to be travel agents. Um, but now since we have such a great program with the customer side and the um, business side of pay to say, uh, a lot of people are not even trying to be travel agents anymore. I mean, it's just like too much headache and too much work sometimes, uh, unless you're doing a massive group, um, you're not gonna really make any, any decent money and I'll tell people that. So um, pay to save, I, I really joined for the hookup because a lot of my customers a lot of times say, can you hook me up? That means can I go to Vegas for $300 for a week? And, I, <laughs> and I'm like, are you insane? I mean, a tra real travel agent ain't even going to take that. But now I can say to them, well, I may be able to just hook you up with that. If you join this club, you will be able to get a week for free. Or you can even get a two-bedroom and take one of your friends and then charge them for being in the other room and get your plane fare, you know? <laughs> so I learned how to do that. I mean, just, just I mean, this is just amazing, uh, an amazing program. Um, I started my business pretty much on social media. I didn't bring a team over. I started fresh. I didn't bring anybody from my other companies. A few people came later on, but I don't believe moving people from company to company. I don't, I don't believe in that. And so um, I just kind of just left and may, let people make their own decision about what they wanted to do. As so I started and the first people that pretty much joined my joint were for actually people that I didn't know from um, social media, um, from different platforms and different things that I was involved in in the community. And that's pretty much how I built my business. So a lot of my business partners, um, I did not know. You know, wow. sometimes the first, sometimes some of them, the first time I met them was either at a pay to save meeting. I remember when we uh, first met in Memphis is where I am right now. Um, a lot of people came and we had just met for the first time. It was like, oh, we finally met, right? Uh, so I pretty much just built it like that. And, and um, I can just say that um, I think because of the integrity, because of this company, David Hart has never, um, in all honesty, him and Adela have never said anything that they're not going to do. If he can't do it, he's going to tell you he can't do it. But he's never, he's always held true. Now, I've had other companies that have come to me, even some of the travel companies that have recycled themselves. And a lot of my friends are over there. And even one of my um, team, lead team members are over there, over in another company. And I had someone, I was telling someone, they offered me $20,000 to bring my team over a month for three months. And I was like, are you insane? 
first of all, it's not, it wouldn't even be worth it. And second of all, you, sometimes you got to be somewhere where you know it's going to be around. You know what I mean? A lot of those companies, when I started, um, they may be a last two or three years. People made money. The, the same people made money. They recycle people. And then those people make money. Yeah, I've seen so, that. Huh? I've seen that myself. I've, I've had exactly yeah. the same thing about seven months ago. Someone really, really trying to get me to move the whole team to a travel company. And there's just nothing out there like this. It's like, it's why would anybody do that? That's just insane behavior. Absolutely insane. So I totally applaud you. I love your ethics, Deborah. Your ethics are second to none. They really are. And the fact that you can show that you, you don't even need to know anybody to do this business, that you, all you actually need is a, a social media account and you can literally then speak, speak to people on social media that you never even knew and take yourself from, I mean, what you're saying, six-figure earner in the matrix coming here knowing that this is, and, and would I be right in saying when I ask this, do you feel that this is a place that you can always make that six-figure earner and repeat it and repeat it each year? Uh, I, be, I know that you can. I know that you can. And, and the only reason that I am not currently ambassador is because of some of the, I mean, it, I got in my own way, you know, and it wasn't even, I don't want to even blame it on, on my team. I blame it on me. I got in my own way. I subconsciously decided 1500, I was good, you know, and then when my husband went to star, I was even double better, you know, <laughs> I, and then I was like, do I really want the responsibility of having that size of a team? And so you got to ask those, those questions. And I believe that he took some time, you know, um, in order for me to get to this place where I am now. I mean, you got to have a vision for leadership, people. Um, it is essential in your focus and your attention on what matters most. And what matters most for me is seeing other people win. You know, at my detriment, I, I, I guess I think I didn't want to go uh, three star because I kept saying I need some more people to go two star. I need some people, more people to go one star. I need some more people. And what but what happened is when I hit three star, it was like, boom, mail went two star. And this one went one star. And then we had two directors in a week. And I was like, oh, so that's how that work. I was holding people up. <laughs> so um, you want to make sure that as you're growing, you know, you want to decide if you're going to be a customer in this business and that's okay and take the vacations or you're going to decide if you want to be a, a, what I call a marketing consultant and really build a team and build a residual income and be committed um, to, pay, to the vision of pay to save and really lock it into it. I mean, I'm locked. I'm sold. You know, it's, I'm kind of like a, a, a Mary Kay Dell person that got the pink Cadillac. I'm sold. I'm, you know, you can't even persuade them good sisters. <laughs> hey, so, right? I'm so, I'm paid to say so. And, um, <laughs> I think if we cut you in the middle, it would just say paid to say, wouldn't it? It's just like, yeah, I'm paid to say so. You are, you right? are. So okay, you want to make sure that uh, you have an amazing leader in Samantha. I, I love her spirit. I love her heart. I know that she's going to be an ambassador. But every leader needs a leader. Every leader needs people in the, be people pushing them and, and, and walking that out with them. And so, I mean, you have to do, and Daryl has given me an exercise to begin to look at my team, him and um, Todd and, and David, to look within my team to say, who are the real leaders that are committed to pay the same? Because everybody's not committed. Everybody, some people just are here to be here because they want to travel, they want, right? But who really wants to go to the one star, two star, three star, four star ambassador? Who really wants to do that? Who wants to, to that pay to save is the flag that you're waving? And so I have to ask my, even though I may love that person, even though they have been with me from the day one, even though I still have to ask myself those hard questions. So is there anything else you want me to share, Sam? I mean, I could, I could talk about vision, uh, talk about so much um, to really just, because my heart is just full. I just want this team, and I know you've been through 
me and me and you are kindred spirits and that we you know i you lost one leader i lost two so we're in transition but we we came out kicking you know <laughs> What else can you do? You have got to come out kicking. You know, and you know what? Like, 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 right? um, There's no other way. Like, and you know what? Talking about leaders, let's bring on another UK leader. Let's bring Paula on because you are right in okay. what you say. And you can't just do it on your own. You need leaders that lead with you, that step up and do that. And Paula, you really are doing that right now. So please take over the call. Hello. Hello. Deborah, can you hear me okay, guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Deborah, that was amazing. Thank you so much for that. Um, what you said there was so inspiring and so true because being committed to this business, one thing that I've noticed now, my travel journey actually began strangely with my mental health because I find that traveling actually helps my emotional wellness. And I'm not going to go into my full story because I share that elsewhere, but what I find really important is having confidence and faith in the people that I'm going to go and travel with. Now, I've not really felt so confident until I came to pay to say, because I've looked at other organizations that do travel in, in similar ways to us, um, because I'm not one for tradition. I like to go a bit against the grain. Um, and none of them provide you with the kind of reassurances that David, ha David and Adela do. And what I absolutely love is the way family orientation of it the way that it's all about family it's all about being together it's about making memories and that just rang tro so true for me and i'm finding when i'm chatting with people right now it's something that they're craving because we've had lockdown we've had so many changes they need to feel together in a different place so it's incredible and um, sam introduced me to the business a couple of years ago now almost um, I didn't jump straight in um, when she said, look, please just take a proper look at this. You're going to love it. it. It was a matter of days and I, I went straight in because I thought, wow, this, is, this has got the chance to change thousands of lives. We're seeing that happen and it's just an incredible place to be. So thank you, Sam, for asking me to come on tonight. We can't do this without you, Paula. So thank you as well. Yeah, we can't do thank this without you. you. You know. Well done, everyone. I think we're doing a fantastic job at the minute. The energy is so high, and thank you to all you guys in the states that are giving us that support as well. Because coming together like this is really, it's driving us forward, and it's it feels fantastic. I'm a bit excited. Does. Can you tell? <laughs> you, I, do you know what and you can hear it in you you can hear the passion in you as you're talking Paula and I think you hit on something very very important it's something that's very special to my heart as well and that's the mental health because I see that with Curtis and with what you've just said for me having a child that's got mental health I see yeah. what this club actually does for my child as well so I, I really am so pleased that you you mentioned that it's important because it's not just about what we get it's how we feel yeah and absolutely it, that that's what being in this club is all about so you spoke about the fact that you're so pleased that we've all brought the usa and the uk together so let's bring the lady on that made that happen and let's bring Moo on because if it wasn't for Moo we would not be how close we are to the USA right now. So, Moo, please bring yourself on, darling. And well done to you. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sam. Um, well, my story is I love to travel. Um, I was widowed 13 years ago. And mental health, again, it's very important for me that my kids had good memories to come up. And, you know, not just the fact that they lost their dad so young. Um, so, traveling has made a big difference in my life. But it didn't stop me crying. It didn't stop me feeling absolutely um, alone. And then I joined this club and I have never felt so happy since the day my husband died for 13 years. I felt awful. And this has made me really happy. And it's these guys here. And I thank you, Paul, for actually showing me the club. Thank you, Sam, for bringing it to the UK. But these guys mean the world to me. They're my family. And they understand when I'm down, they'll phone me up and they'll make me feel happy again. And I'm going to start crying. So. <laughs> but thank you. I love it. 
absolutely love it here. Best place to be. Yeah. Yeah, and you yeah. save money as well. What more can you want? <laughs> I mean, you've had a bit of an experience yourself as well with the club. Um, tell us where you've been so far and what you've used with the club. Well, um, I've been on a dreamcation. I went to Spain with Shell, who's there. Um, I've never spoken to her about the club. So I took her on holiday with me and she's like, are we in the right place? Because she knew I spent only 80 pounds. Like, are you sure this is the right hotel? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Went in and I'm shaking now because I think maybe I've got the address wrong. Maybe I am at the wrong place. Got to the desk and they're like, oh, hi, Mrs. Hill. Yeah, welcome. Straight in, no problem. And we had such a wonderful time together. Um, and we had discounts on all the spa treatments. Uh, I think I had three spa treatments, um, hot stones and chocolate wraps. And we spent the day in, just the whole day in the spa and the sauna and everything. And it was just amazing. And if you like Games of, Game of Thrones, there's a castle just down the road. We walked to the car, no, we caught a bus to the castle and walked back and Shell complained all the way that we walked back. It was only seven kilometers, I think, Shell. But she complained that it was too far. But it was a beautiful castle and it was just amazing. So the places you can see, if you've got something in your mind, they say, I want to go see that. We've got somewhere nearby that you can go see it at a fraction of the cost of the hotel from zero pounds a night. What more can you want? You know, um, I've also used the wholesale um, portal for uh, London. I went on again with Shell for a weekend in London and I saved 130 pounds on the weekend. Um, we went on a river cruise. Again, I saved money on that. And there was big adverts that at the time saying Virgin discounted prices, whatever it was. And I'm like, I paid less than that on my normal price. And they're calling that a discount. So mm -hmm. there's so many ways. And I always use my Asda vouchers. Um, I've got Primark vouchers. I always use the shopping portal as well to save money. So there's so many different ways you can save money. You don't have to build a team if you don't want to. You can be saving your money and still going on a holiday. But if you build a team and you've got four, then you're free. So it's, and it, why would you want to share this? When I joined, I didn't want to do the business. I just wanted the savings for myself. But it was a case of, I love it. Why, why wouldn't I want to tell my friends? Why wouldn't I want to tell my family? So it's such an easy thing to talk about. It's, just do it. It's really, really easy to talk yeah. about. Because everybody loves to travel. And the beautiful thing about it is, is obviously with everything that's gone on recently, this product has just come into a world of its own because people are sitting there and they're wanting to go, but then they're looking and thinking, I don't want to book right now because if I book right now, what happens is if it cancels and I lose everything, we don't have that problem here because what we're doing is we're obviously just securing our future travel. So... Before I go over to another slide and to bring Kevin on, is there anything you'd like to say, Daryl, whilst we're in the flow? Hello, everybody. I see some new faces on here. I've got to meet some of the, the rest of you guys that uh, are not on here. I think there's just one or two, maybe, that I don't think I know. But no, th this is this is awesome. Everybody's sharing these stories. And, and this is what makes the business so uh, amazing is because what the product or our service does it allows people to, you know, for help with their mental health. Uh, it allows people to have fun adventures. Uh, Moo was just talking about her kids and, and uh, you know, how some of the experiences they have. And, um, you know, everybody is just, just amazing. But no, I'm just listening to the story and I'm here uh, to be a part and serve and, you know, add whatever you want me to add at the time you want me to do. But uh, I'm, I'm excited to be here. I, I do have um, ADHD. So doing these Zooms for me is tough. Now, I've never been diagnosed that. So uh, I'm just kind of kidding. But if you saw my lower half, I, you know, it's just constantly moving. Uh, I just, it's tough for me just to kind of sit still. But um, uh, I've, I enjoy getting on here with you guys and, and all the, the webinars that I actually do. And um, it's just exciting. There's no question about it. I'm so happy for each and every one of you. Uh, uh, just the leadership here on this call is um, tremendous. I, I tell the story, and I'll give it back to you real quick here. I tell the story that when, you know, Marie and I, we built some pretty substantial businesses over the years. And uh, we had little meetings like this, but our meetings were at a restaurant. We'd get together just like this, but it would be 
five or six people at a restaurant and we'd be talking about the business, the opportunity, setting goals, setting objectives. And, you know, I, I made it clear as one of the leaders that are pretty much the leader there, but, you know, my partners were there with me that uh, obviously a dead series, this is nothing we're going to play with. We're going to take it to the next level and we're going to put time and energy into it. And, and if, when I look back at those groups doing what you guys are doing right now, um, comparative to the talent that I've had the opportunity to meet with you folks here over the last you know, month or so, uh, comparative to the people that I had at that round table, boy, you guys should build a million people group. I mean, the, the caliber of people here is just unbelievable. We had some good people, but they didn't have the, the caliber. So, you know, I've been known for just taking regular average people, sort of like myself, uh, one of those people, um, and, and taking it to a whole nother level. But every time I see you guys and the leadership, the different individuals that are on here and uh, the way you guys speak and do the things you do, uh, I'm, I'm excited. I hope you understand the potential you have in yourself and you guys unleash it. But back to you, um, uh, Samantha. Just want to share that point. No, no, I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, the leadership in, in the whole of the company is something that I've never, ever seen before, Daryl, um, and, and especially with yourself as well, Maria and Todd, and, and what you get from David. And, and Deb was right in what she said. You know, David is always a man of his word. Been lucky enough to work with him for 18 months and see the way that everything that's gone as we've opened up this country, it's just absolutely phenomenal so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring kevin on and then we'll do the video and then obviously we'll say thanks to those that have actually enabled this to physically happen so kevin please come on my darling yourself hi oh, evening everyone oh, hi nice to be here i said thanks for inviting me on sam if i wasn't for you i wouldn't be here at all uh yeah so what story about i'll join sam came to me about it at the start of last year, beginning of the last year, and uh, told me that I needed to have a look, so I joined. I didn't take any hesitation, because Sam was telling me I joined. Yes, that's, the, that's the fate I have in Sam. Uh, so, back then, I, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was struggling with social media from the start, and, and, on, and techie, anything techie I was struggling with, as, as Sam will tell you. Um, but uh, I've got better and better, and now I'm social media, I mean, talking to Italy, and I'm talking to people in South Africa as well. So I used to never talking to people from South Africa. So I never thought I'd have been doing that 12 months ago. Um, Kevin, yeah, I've, uh, Kevin, let yeah. me stop you for a second because I yeah. think your internet connection went at that point, and I know that you yeah. have something very valuable to say. So could you just repeat that for us again, please? Yeah, where did, where did I get to? Did you? About you going on the Zoom calls, and then it just went. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, sorry. Yeah, back when I was struggling with social media last year, uh, but now I've learned so much since then, and, and now I'm doing Zoom call after Zoom call after Zoom call, and I'm, I'm talking to people in Italy, and I'm talking to people in South Africa, and I wouldn't have dreamt of doing that when I started 12, 12 months ago. Um, when I joined this company, I didn't even have a passport. Yeah, that's the first I had in the company. I didn't even have a passport. So I've got that one solved now. Uh, so, so I would have been in Tenerife with you all last week if it hadn't been postponed. So I've got the passport sorted. Looking forward to getting on some trips. Uh, I chose to sit up here tonight to do, do the call because you can see up on the wall here. You can see that? That's what I'm aiming for first. And uh, yeah, I'll have to stick a few more on there after that once I keep going after that. So uh, I thought that's probably appropriate to come and sit under the star. Uh, so, so, so my background is uh, from a, a mortgage broken background and with this lockdown, Obviously, I can't do anything in that field at all. It's, you know, some people manage it, but I can't do it on online mortgages. So I, I've changed totally my mindset in the time it's been in lockdown. I don't really want to go back to doing mortgages, to be fair. I would much rather carry on doing much more of what I'm doing now, much more on social media, much more with all you lot, uh, and enjoy myself for much more. And I had the honour last weekend of having a one-to-one -one Zoom with Daryl as well, which was, a, which was great. And, uh, you know, that would never have happened in any other companies I've tried networking with. Uh, so that was, that was brilliant as well. So yeah, I'm loving every minute of it. And uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, almost, I'm, almost considering, I'm almost considering myself full time in the fact that I've said I don't really want to go back to doing mortgages. But uh, yeah. Kevin, so, I, I just, I love this and I love your story. And because I know you so well, it hits me, it proper hits me because 
we've worked together on and off for the last four years and to see this in you and, and it to be this company, to be the one that says, you know what, I'm not going back to being a mortgage broker full time. I know you're not going back full time from the conversations we've had. And you know what? I am so, so, so happy for you. I'm so happy that I joined this company just so that it's got you to where you are. I am so, so happy for you. That it just makes my day hearing this. And this is what I love about this company. You don't know where you're going to take anybody. You just don't know how you're going to impact somebody's life. Yeah. You have no clue at all. Well, so let's go, go back to one thing that Deborah said as well resonates with me. She said she didn't know people that she, when she joined, she didn't know people she's now bringing in. And mm -hmm. I was thinking, well, yeah, both the bulk of my team is like that. Yeah. yeah there's one exception. Becky's on the call here tonight. I knew Becky before. Uh, but the others I've recruited, I didn't know before I joined the company. If I was to look at this Zoom call right now and actually pick out who I know from this Zoom call before this, I knew about pay to save, there'd be one, two, three, four, five, five people. And the rest don't know, don't know at all. Exactly the same boat, exactly the same boat. So, why don't we actually have a look at exactly what it is that makes us get up and out of bed every day and want to just share it with the world. Let's have a look at exactly what it is and what we've got going on here now. So here we go, my guys. Have you ever dreamed of making money from home? <laughs> the entrepreneurial revolution was well underway even before the most recent events that have caused over a billion people around the world to Google, how do I make money from home? People all across the globe are tired of working a job that barely pays the bills and for a company that doesn't pay them at all when they can't come into work. Today, people want to take back control, allowing them to build a business where the money comes in month after month irrespective of their day-to-day -day efforts. But not all home businesses are created equal. So what would your dream business look like? Would it be a turnkey business where practically everything is done for you? Would you be able to get that business started with no money? That's right, zero dollar and zero cents. Would you be able to run your business with virtually no monthly overhead? Would it be an online business that could be built from any place in the world through social media? How about a business where you don't have to sell, ship, or manage any products? Would you want a business where almost everyone loved the product you offered and you had it for the lowest price around? Would you want a business that's fun and exciting? Would you want a business that is the single largest industry in the world? And if you found yourself answering yes, the business you're looking for is the travel business. The travel industry is the single largest industry in the world for a reason. Most everybody loves to travel. And the great thing about our business is you can make money even when people aren't traveling because our membership allows people to earn points toward future travel. Our membership specializes in showing people how to travel for less, how to travel for free. And with our partnership program, you can even get paid to travel. Our program is completely unique and is designed to save consumers up to 70% when they travel. We invite you to partner with us. You can make an income doing what you love, allowing you to turn passion into profit and adventure into a way of life. And the best part is you can get started for free. Take action now. So I'd like to give special thanks to the CEO and to the uh, CEO's wife, Fidella, because without them, none of this would be possible. We are, and I mean we're in such a privileged position to have such an amazing CEO as what we do in David. This, this man is just incredible. And when I say incredible, he touches the heart of all of his members. 
He was the entrepreneur for Inc. Magazine at the age of 24. Between themselves, between Adela and himself, they've got 30 years experience within the direct selling industry. And we're in a fortunate position that we're in a company that's been established since 2012. It's debt free and it has paid out millions in commission. Last year alone, we had a 4,000% annual growth in 2019. Just imagine what's going to happen when those planes take off. This company is going to explode more than what it is at the moment. We're only in 42 countries and we are growing worldwide. So we are in a situation right now where we are in a prime position to show everybody a travel revolution that is here to take over the world. So with that said, I'm going to throw the floor open. If anybody would like to ask some questions to any of the hosts that have come on tonight, please feel free to do so. And everybody's gone quiet. <laughs> I want to say hi. So how do I sign up? Hey, who's that guy? Most well, important question, how do I sign up? Excuse me, you can have my link, Todd. Nobody else get involved in this conversation. <laughs> There's one link, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you, I've missed you. Where have you been? <laughs> ah, doing the do. Right? Hey, Pastor Deborah. Doing the do. You don't need me on here when you got Pastor Deborah and Daryl. It's not amateur hour. You don't need me on here when you got Pastor Deborah. <laughs> that's, that's true, too. <laughs> Can I say the same then? You don't need me on here when you got Pastor Deborah. I'll see you for later. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> I was really quiet. Hey, Miss Paula. Hey, Mahmouda. What's up, Kevin? Hi, Mama G. There you go. Yeah. Hey, Shell. House tonight. Hi, Daryl. Who, of course, who Miss is Stacy. Ma who is, we still gotta go to the Ma bar in Ghana, man. I want to go to your bar. Who is Mama G? Where is she at? Gina, come on. I meet yourself, Gina. Where's she at? I, I want to see her. Hey, there we go. Some hey. light on me. What's up? Thank you, guys. Thank you, for, thank you for coming on. We really appreciate it. It's been fantastic. You've got some really great golden nuggets to um, uh, share with us, and we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. So who's Audrey? Audrey Bodden, Boldman, Boldman. Have we met before, Audrey? No, we've not. No. Uh, you look, you look uh, like I, I haven't. You know, I, I, you look from not familiar. So I want to say hello from uh, Las Vegas. How are you? Doing? Well, from Nevada, not from Nevada here. We're actually in Arizona right now, but normally from Nevada. So how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. I'm awesome. Just... Are you recent uh, into the company? Well, no. Um, well, I actually joined up last year, about uh, June, July, June time. And at the time I was introduced to it, I signed up within two weeks. But then I came, I, the best thing to say to you is I came up with every excuse possible uh, of doing anything. And then a few things happened. And now I've got rid of those excuses and I'm just plugging in to get myself all fired up again. Very Hello, good. Audrey. Woo! Who's your sponsor? Uh, Peter Stone, he's not here, he's not on this, but Peter Stone. Well, if we can help in any way, let me know. I know we're hooking up with Lottie, uh, doing a webinar with her, uh, for her and a couple people, and I know Kevin, Kevin and I, Kevin, what day are we doing that on? I don't have my book in front of me, I just, what, what day did we decide on? Uh, Monday. Monday? Monday. This it's coming Monday. I think Daryl might have frozen on us, bless him. Yeah, I think he froze. Yeah. Hey, that or he's faking it. <laughs> See, I've seen that trick. I saw a movie where they went like. <laughs> Kevin scared him. And you still move, right? You just do so. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Tanya. We got Miss Becky. Hey, Carol. We've got we a got good Lorraine. bunch of time. Everybody's on. I, I love how Daryl doesn't know where he's at. He's got to check what resort he's at. Hey, what resort am I at again? 
I can check my calendar, figure out where I'm at. Oh, I'm at that resort. Yeah, okay. That's where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> and Pastor Deborah, her guy invented that concept. <laughs> they I'm go from one resort to the next resort to the by the way, did they introduce you as a five star director, Deborah? No. Yeah, because you and I are the first five star directors in the company. <laughs> He's a three star, her husband's a two star. Well, three plus two, that's a five star. <laughs> that's awesome. It's awesome, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, 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 you've got the same thing going on with you, though, Todd. I mean, like, you and your wife are in it. Deb, you and your husband, you're in it. You guys are doubling up. I mean, wow. It's like. Yeah, I saw that commercial, you know, double mint, double the pleasure, double the fun. <laughs> I, t I, t I took that to heart. <laughs> <laughs> but literally, like David. <laughs> you know, that's one of the things that's good about this company is that, you know, even as a couple, you can grow together. I mean, you have a, you see power couples like Todd and his wife and, and David and his wife and, um, you know, Daryl and his wife. I mean, so it gives you an opportunity. I, I would tell anybody on here, if your husband or your wife is not in, at least show them the business so that they know and can support what you're doing. I never thought my husband would be in business with me. Um, he never joined any of the businesses that, I mean, any of the travel business until I came to pay to save. And you couldn't kick him out. So make if you have a partner, at least share with them. They can help you. He got tired of helping me, so he decided he wanted his own business. And he wanted his own pay card. He wanted his own, <laughs> exactly. That's what he did. He saw my, my check. Own pay card. <laughs> he pay wanted his own pay card. Now that her husband has the most awesome birthday of anybody on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully some of you guys will come to, in October because Todd and my husband and uh, Tanya Kareem that's on here, they'll be selling their wedding anniversary, Todd's birthday, Guy's birthday. Me and and my Shell. Husband were actually. All right, Shell's birthday Shell's too? Birthday's Shell. 15. Shell, you're the 16th of October? 13th. The, 13th of October. 13th. Ade Adela Hart's the 15th of October. So you and Adela. <laughs> Yeah. And Adela, Adela takes her birthday pretty seriously, Shell. You guys are gonna have to, you guys have to, you have to come out. And we'll have a party. <laughs> My kids won't let me. Wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not allowed to go anywhere then. <laughs> well, you mean yet? You're not allowed to go anywhere yet. Yeah. Tom's I was just saying, do you guys see me again back on the uh, broadcast? No. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, no, maybe so. Yes. Yes, yeah. See, see, I, I would have jacked with him. I'd have been like, just keep talking, like just pretend like you don't hear him. Right, <laughs> <laughs> <I> Todd. <laughs> me, 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 me and Daryl start having some fun with each me and Daryl start having some fun with each other, get these jokes going back and forth. For all those yeah, you don't know, I got to do this introduction for Daryl and I was recording it for him and Maria. <laughs> and it was like this it was like for the serious thing. So I'm doing this a whole long serious introduction, right? And at the end, let's just say I put a twist to it <laughs> that had them that had them in uh, stitches. They were they were laughing pretty um, good. We were laughing for two days. It was so funny. It was supposed to be a serious introduction, and he was you know the first two minutes was just you know as normal polished Todd, but uh, then at the end, he said, uh, we just started cracking up. So I'm still laughing. Dara, why is your name Ralph Smock? <laughs> um i don't know because i'm actually on my iphone here so i have no idea i'm gonna try to come, I'm gonna try to come out she said the name says something different but i'm gonna come back on on the computer here in just a second um do me a favor can you guys uh just give me the meeting id number so i don't have to go out and look for it again so, somebody that has it handy yeah, yeah, you can change. You can change your name. You don't have to go out and come back in. You can change your name. But no, I I, I want to get back on the computer. This is the phone. So oh, you having to hold it? Yeah. We we get you one of those holders. Yeah, there you go. Have you seen the holder with the ring light? Yeah, I've seen that too. Yeah, so it's got the thing that holds your phone. It's got another thing. It's got the little ring light to illuminate your face. Right. Right. 
Does anybody well, I, not, not, now I know what to get you for your birthday. There you go. Hey, well, I'm going to come out. I'll come right back in, guys. Okay. It's like he's been in and out. So, Todd, what's been the highlight of your week? I'd love to know. Uh, the highlight of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean the highlight of the moment, the highlight of the day? I thought like my whole week's a highlight. It's like a highlight reel. Day. Nothing but a highlight reel. <laughs> Six Saturdays, one Sunday. No, I mean, I mean, obviously we're seeing travel come back. We're seeing sales, you know, like you do, you do a major uptick here. Um, I think, you know, people are excited. So, uh, I mean, it's kind of that undercurrent we've talked about where it's that pent up demand, that pent up energy. Uh, obviously we got the new two minute peak video. We got the new launch site. The company's getting ready to launch a whole new bunch of promotions. I think that's where Sam's trying to get me to go. Um, I happened to get the email earlier um, and I was on the phone with her and I'm like, so I'm reading it. And so I, I like, I read it to her. She starts asking questions. I go, Sam, we can't ask questions about something. We don't even know it exists yet. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, I want to deep dive, right? Well, I'm going to call David Hart. You're not even supposed to know about it. <laughs> anyway, so we got a whole new series of promotions coming uh, from the company. Uh, that's going to be amazing. Obviously I know that uh, they announced the world tours, which you heard Deborah talk about. We're going to be going to the Florida keys and uh, for me and Guy's birthday, we're having an international birthday party. Me and Guy were born the same day. By the way, we were born the same day as Ray Kroc, by the way, uh, the founder of McDonald's. <laughs> wow. And um, we're having an international birthday party in Vegas. We're going to be at the Win. For those of you that have never been to Las Vegas, the Win's like one of the nicest places in all of Vegas. They got us the panoramic view rooms. So this is above the 28th floor. You got a special key just to go up there. And uh, we're going to be there for four days. And, and the rooms sometimes go for like 500 a night. And, you know, they are, our rate for the entire event is going to be like 199 or 249, something like that. I mean, it's going to be incredible. Do you know the date? Uh, I think it's October right. 1 through October 4, but I don't know if that's officially solidified or that's just what they're looking at. It's official. Yeah, I'll get that. Um, uh, Maria's uh, checking on that right now for that. So I, I apologize that we're right in the middle of uh, talking to Audrey. Audrey apologized. My phone went out and then I was talking to Kevin and um, the computer went out for some reason. So I apologize. So what I was going to say, Audrey, if you, if you, obviously you've got a great support system with you right there, but if you can do anything to help, please, uh, you know, don't hesitate. And, and also Thank there's you. another, you're welcome. I, I look forward to working with you. And, uh, also, how do you pronounce your name? C A I O. Mr. Eduardo. Eduardo. Okay, I was looking at the name before. Hey, Eduardo, how you doing, buddy? I think I think it's Eduardo. Eduardo. Anyone hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. It's hard for me to pronounce that. I just don't have to say, "Hey, what's up, Ed?" <laughs> hey, hey what's up, man? Good to, good to meet you, man. Uh, are you brand new? Yes, I'm 11 days brand new at the moment. That is correct. Thank you. Okay, you're coming in. Yeah, you joined bit. with somebody from Australia. Cree Maxwell? Cree Maxwell, that is my um, yeah, my sponsor. That is correct. Yeah, and, I think uh, she's a London girl who lives out in Australia. Yeah, it's in Australia. Awesome. Well, glad, glad to see you on here. I know uh, I pretty much know everybody else. I don't know if I know C, uh, is it Thomas? Ms. Thomas? Yes. Hi, Daryl. Hello, everyone in the UK. I bring you greetings from Covington, Georgia. I am a yeah. member of Miss Deborah's team, Team Legacy, and I'm so excited to be here to hear all your wonderful stories. We have George is in the house. Yeah. Yes. Are you, are, you, are you a bulldog? No, I'm not. I'm okay. originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, so I'm an Eagles fan, a Philadelphia yeah. Eagles fan. <laughs> there we go. My, my daughter went to dental school at Temple. Okay, so she, yes. So now she's a diehard Eagles fan. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, so she was in Philadelphia for four years there. Right, yeah. down, right downtown. So when the Eagles won the Super Bowl, the parade came right by her place. Wow, amazing. Yeah, they're pretty excited. Kevin, when we're done, can you and I get on the phone? I just need to make an adjustment with the uh, 
uh, time. I may not have to make the adjustment, especially if you've already started building for that, but if you and I can talk for a second offline, uh, that'd be great. That, is that okay with you? Yeah, well, sorry, on this Zoom, what do you mean offline, but on this Zoom call, or do you want me to Zoom you back? Okay. Yeah, yeah, just send him a message on Messenger, Kevin. All right, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. All right. Hey, well, I, guys, I've got to get going here. I've got a couple things to do. You guys are amazing. And uh, Deborah Taylor, we get to be guests on there. I got a surprise last night, Todd. <laughs> we get to be guests on uh, uh, Deborah Taylor's uh, live on Sunday. So yeah, I saw, uh, I saw, the, I saw the flyer. The flyer looks amazing. She, she's amazing. These, these folks are <laughs> unbelievable. Deborah, uh, Deborah, we're so excited about, obviously, you and and then the training that you give, and then the leadership that you're providing, and um, you know, company's very lucky. We're all lucky that you and uh, Apostle uh, Guy are, are on board with the company. And these are the type of people, guys, that are coming to our, our business. You just hear how Deborah talks; it just she just kind of sucks you in, and just you know, just her calm spirit just you know makes you want to you know do something and be excited and pumped up and do your part as well so we have something huge there's no question about it guys we're at the one third part of the month that means there's two thirds left make sure for those of you that if you haven't done so it's still plenty of time get your goals uh set your plan of action connect with a leader and, and go after it. just one advice i'd leave is this you know uh, you know success is your success is equal to the right amount of time plus the right activities. Let me say that again. Your success is equal to the right amount of time plus the right activities. So you want to be careful. I've seen it over the years, you know, people are shuffling paper from one side of the desk to the other side of the desk. And you're doing something, but you're not doing income producing activities. So make sure this the second third of the month, uh, and you, you this may not even apply to any of you guys, but you want to make sure that you're doing things that could help you grow your business. You're traveling, uh, you're sending out information to uh, uh, you know, prospect new people, you're helping your new people grow, et cetera. So make sure you assess what you're doing and is it income producing activities or is it just you know, paperwork or you know, doing things that aren't creating you know, the group that you want to actually create over time. So, Two thirds of the month left. God bless you guys, and I appreciate you so much. And if we can help in any way, you can uh, reach out to me on Facebook Messenger or any other source. You can get my information from uh, Samantha or any of the other leaders on here. Maria and I will step up and help out. So God bless you guys. We'll see you real soon. Bye now. Bye everybody. Bye bye. 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 Thanks for coming on. Bye bye. Bye bye.